Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 10. Lesson number 10 in a series of 10 videos on the topic of exponents. Excuse me. Excuse me. On the topic of exponents and today is our lesson number 140 problem for today is already on the blackboard let's take a look at it we are told that 6 squared times 5 cubed times 2 to the 4 divided by 120 squared equals one of these quantities equals 1 what's the value of this quantity I'll give you 5 seconds now for you to be able to pause and unpause the video I want you to do the problem yourself as always once you have done it then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do, toge will do together in a few seconds time, okay? Five seconds. Here we go. All right. Here's the trick to it. We see 120 squared. We see square at the bottom. This, this quantity is already squared. If we can somehow convert this into a some sort of a square quantity and that is some sort of a square quantity, it might get us someplace. For example, 5 to the third can be written as, so we have 6 squared, we have 6 squared times 5 to the third, which can be written as 5 times 5 squared. 5 times 5 squared, 5 times 5 squared is 5 to the third. How about 2 raised to 4? 2 raised to 4 can be written as 4 raised to 2. 2 raised to 4 is 16. 16 is same as 4 squared. 2 raised to 4. In other words, in other words, we can write this 2 raised to 4 as 2 squared the whole squared. 2 squared squared is 4 squared. So let's do that. We're gonna write 2 to the 4 as 4 squared. As 4 squared. The 2 to the 4 as 4 squared here. And on the bottom we have on the bottom we have 100 and 20 squared. Do you notice anything? Do you notice something? This quantity is squared, this quantity is squared, this quantity is squared. 6 is squared, 5 squared, 4 squared, 6 is squared, 5 squared, 4 squared. This is all being squared times 5. This is the only 5 that is left. That's the only 5 that is left here over 120 squared. Now what do you suppose 6 times 5 times 4 is going to be? 5 times 4 is 20 and 20 times 6 is 10 times 6 is 60, 20 times 6 is 120. This is 120 squared. This 6 times 5 times 4 squared is 120 squared. They cancel each other out. The answer is it is equals to 5. You want to do one more? Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. One over six raised to x times one over six raised eight raised to sixty, we are told equals one over twenty-four raised to ninety. Twenty-four raised to ninety. I'm going to erase all of this thing now. We don't need it. You have plenty of time to take it down. One over twenty-four raised to ninety, and the question simply is, what's the value of x? What's the value of x? Here are the answer choices. Thirty, forty-five, sixty, ninety and 120. Again, I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do the problem yourself first, okay? I'm going to get out of your way now. One more time. 1 over 6 raised to x times 1 raised to 6, 8 raised, 1 over 6 raised to 8 times 1 over 8 raised to 60 equals, we are told, 1 over 24 raised to 90. I'll give you five seconds 
for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Alright, let's do it together, shall we? Let's do it together, see what we can do. Well, the key to understand this concept is that in order for us to figure out what 6 raised to x is, in order to figure out what x is here, this is 6, this is 24. Are you with me so far? This is 24, this is 6. If we can somehow write this quantity, if we can write somehow this quantity as 4 to the 4, 4 to some power, 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 6 is 24. Let's see what we can do here. 8, 8 is simply 8 to the 60th is same as is same as 2 to the 60th times 4 to the 60th. Don't you agree? Of course, because 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, stay with me in this story. It's very important that you stay with me in this story. Now, this 2 to the 60th can be written as 2 squared raised to 30th times 4 raised to 60th. Well, 2 squared is simply 4. This is simply 4. This is 4 to the 30th times 4 to the 60th. You see that? In other words, 8 to the 60th, in other words, 8 to the 60th is simply 4 raised to 90. That's the connection we have to make. That's the connection we have to make. In other words, this quantity here, 4 raised to 60th, that we see there, 4 to the 60th power is simply 4 raised to 90th power. It's simply 4 raised to 90th power. And this 24 is simply 4 times 6 is simply 4 times 6 raised to 90th power. So there you go, we are done. This is 4 raised to 90th, that's 4 raised to 90th, this must be 6 raised to, 6, 6 raised to 90th, x must be 90. x is 90. Do you want me to do all the steps? It's not necessary, is it? That's it, we are done, because 6 raised to x times 1 over 10, 4 raised to 90th is, and this part that you see there, can be written as, this part that you see there right here, can be written as 1 over 4 is to 90th times 1 over 6 is to 90th. So there is, there is this part, 6 is to 4 is to 90th, which means x has to be 90. You want to do one more? Yes? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. One over five raised to x times one over four raised to eighteen. We are told equals one over two times ten raised to thirty-five. Again, the question is, what's the value of x? What is the value of x? Do it yourself. I'm not going to give you the answer choices. You do it yourself. I'll give you five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Once you have done it, resume the video and we'll compare your work against the work that we'll do, to, we'll do together in a few seconds time, as always. All right, let's see what we can do. Well, first thing you have to understand is how to, how to deal with this guy. 10 raised to 35th, okay, pay attention, 10 raised to 35th can be written as, 10 is simply 2 times 5, 2 times 5 is 10 raised to 35th, 2 times 5, 2 times 5 raised to 35th, in turn is equal to 2 raised to 35 times 5 raised to 35, are you with me? In other words, 10 raised to 35 is 2 raised to 35 times 5 raised to 35, that's what we're going to put there, in place of 10 raised to 35th, we're going to put 2 raised to 35 times 5 raised to 35. You can see where we are going with this thing. We are almost there. Now 2, two raised to 1, this is 2 raised to 1 times 2 raised to 35th. 2 raised to 1 times 2 raised to 35th. Let's, do it. Let's, let's continue here. It's simply this 1 and 35 is simply 2 raised to 36. 
times 5 raised to 35. 2 raised to 36, 2 raised to 36 is what we're dealing with here. This is 1 raised to 4. 1 raised to 4, let's look, we're going to look at this quantity now. 1 raised to 4 raised to 18 can be written as 1 over 2 squared times 18. Because, because, one, because 1 over 4 is 1 over 2 is 1 quarter. 1 over 2 squared, 1 over 2 squared, half of half is 1 quarter. So 1 over 4 is simply half squared raised to 18, which is simply 1 half raised to 36. Or if you like, it is same as 1 over 2 raised to 36. Are you able to see that? Of course, it's 1 raised to 1 over 2 raised to so this quantity is 1 raised to 1, 1 over 2 raised to 36. This quantity is simply 1 over 2 raised to 36. And this quantity, 1 over 5 raised to x, is we're dealing with. It doesn't matter what x is, 1 raised to any power is just 1. So this can simply be written as this can simply be written as 1 over 5 raised to x. Okay. You see where we're going with this thing? Now I'm going to raise all of this thing because we need the room. So here we go. We're going to raise all of this thing. And this is 2 raised to 36 right here. 2 raised to 36 times 5 raised to 36. And here we have 1 over 5 raised to x times 1 over 2 raised to 36. Well, there you go. 2 raised to 36 is right here. It's the same as this guy. But well, there you go. We're done. That's it. We're done. So x must be x must be 35. x would have to be 35. Want to do one last one? Let's do one last one. Because this is our last video on the exponents, so I don't want to make one more video out of it. Let's do, let's do one last one. The next problem, after I set it up, I want you to do it yourself. Pause the video. Same logic, same rationale, same method would apply. You just have to be able to manipulate things here and there. Like a, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like being a gymnast. You have to be able to uh, see what you can do with it. You, you look at the different possibilities, different manipulations. Let's do one more. Where can I give you the problem? One over three raised to x times one over five raised to seven. We are told is equal to one over three times forty-five raised to seven. Again, the question simply is, what's the value of x? What is the value of x? Here are the answer choices. A, B, C, D, E, 15, 20, 45, 60, and 120. I'll give you five seconds now. I will get out of your way now. I'll give you five seconds to be able to pause and unpause the video. Do it yourself first, okay? Alright. One more time. What we need to understand is how can we manipulate this guy here? 45 raised to 7 is simply 9 times 5 raised to 7, which is simply 9 raised to 7 times 5 raised to 7. Are you with me so far? And 9 raised to 7 is simply 9 raised to 7 is simply 3 squared raised to 7 times 5 raised to 7. Still with me? And that is simply 3 raised to 14 times 5 raised to 7. So this quantity 45 raised to 7 boils down to 13 raised to 14, uh, 3 raised to 14 rather, 3 raised to 14 times 5 raised to 7. We're going to put that there. This quantity is 3 raised to 14, 3 raised to 14 times 5 raised to 7. Well, as you can see where we're going with this thing, 1 over 5 raised to 7 is same as the same as 1 over 5 raised to 7, which is the same guy as this guy right here. And 3 raised to 1, 3 raised to 1 times 3 raised to 14 is 3 raised to 15. 3 raised to 1 times 3 raised to 14 is simply 3 raised to 15. But well, there you go. And this 1 over 3 raised to x is the same as 
1 over 3 raised to x. So we have 1 over 3 raised to x, which is equal to 1 over 3 raised to 15 times. See, we can separate these things. We can separate this thing as two separate quantities. 1 over this and 1 over that. the same thing. So we have 1 over 7, 5 raised to 7, 1 over 5 raised to 7, and here we have 1 over 3 raised to x and 1 over 3 raised to 15, which means x would have to be 15. x would have to be 15. The answer is A. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.